up to you. Hey, I got you a fish. Yeah? Yeah. Seriously? Thanks? I guess? What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Jake, and let's jump into this video. So, Hyundai did advertise this little trunk space as the perfect tailgate and cooler, and as such, they even installed a drain plug so that you could fill this little cavity with ice and go out, keep everything cool, and have a good time. So, you can see over here, it does have a nice layer of weather stripping that it actually can seal down here also. The drain plug is located right here so that any spilled water will fall out. It also says, do not apply water directly to the latch area. Doing so will risk causing latch failure. So that means that we cannot fill this little cavity up into this point. This little space is wide enough that it can take a large bag and a small bag of ice. Ironically, I don't think you would ever need to put that much more ice in there. Unfortunately, this ice will melt, and when you're off-roading, it's going to be sloshing that water every which way. I don't think it was designed to be traveling around with such liquid in the back. Potentially, we would be keeping a lot of food and beverages inside this pseudo tailgating trunk cooler that we're going to try to make. So I went ahead and bought a bunch of these little uh, thermometers. These thermometers not only tell temperature, but the humidity. Not that that's going to matter too much, but they also come with little 3M backing strips. So my plan is to tape some of these thermometers around the cavity of this trunk. So that way we can see what kind of temperatures we're actually getting from ice. And we don't want to ruin the test by constantly opening the cooler. So I have one of these glow sticks. I plan on putting a GoPro in the trunk facing the thermostat. And hopefully this glow stick is enough to illuminate the area so that we can at least see the temperature. So first, we're going to see how long it takes for this ice to fully melt out and then start warming up our cooler. After that, I got some insulation and we're gonna see if we can improve this design just a little bit. But, let's start with this. You, sir, yes, you up in the Raptors, you are a loud bird. Thank you for sharing. Now that we got the ice all loaded up, let's see what we got for time. To more stimulate an overlanding experience, I'm taking our little science experiment for a comfortable drive. Currently, it is 87 degrees outside, so it should put our OEM pseudo cooler through a good workout. And we will be able to see how fast the ice melts without modifying the trunk beforehand. So, according to my phone, it has now been two and a half hours. Let's see what that ice looks like. So we're gonna open it up and look at those thermometers really quickly before talking about the ice, uh, because I wanna kinda of see what the temperatures are like on the inside. But before I do that. So you can see it is pretty wet underneath the trunk, and there is the drain plug. And you can see it dripping pretty hard even though it's already closed. Making that puddle really quickly all right uh so not great for the inside temperature of the whole cavity there's the thermometer that was actually touching the ice itself so i guess as long as your items are covered in the ice it would be all right um definitely good for tailgating that's for sure but as a cooler for camping and overlanding it is definitely not going to cut it for the majority and the most part, uh, we've lost 80, probably 70% of the mass of ice that I did put in there, but it is not completely gone. Now that we've seen what ice can do by itself, let's go ahead and turn this into an actual cooler and see what results we can get from that. So of note, uh, one of the members in the Santa Cruz community found out that if you put a plastic bag over the plug before installing uh, the drain plug, it will not leak as much if at all if you wanted to retain some of the cold water or uh, as much as that was leaking out so i went ahead and picked up a couple different things um, this is 
uh, just some generic insulation I found. So I figured that I could probably use double-sided tape or molding adhesive and coat the inside of the cavity of the trunk so at least it would be somewhat insulated. You can see that the roof was perforated and allowing probably excess heat to get in through that space. So I'm thinking that if I at least insulate the top and maybe the sides a little bit more, it'll actually retain some of its uh, cooling properties. I went ahead and picked up some of these uh, intense ice packs. They claim that these ice packs are double what you can get from dry ice, I guess, and standard ice. I'm not sure what materials on the inside. Maybe it combines uh, water that you fill up with in gel to make it so that the result is a lot colder than standard ice. So I got a couple of those packs. I actually got another lunchbox ice pack. So I guess my theory is if I go ahead and insulate it a little bit, add these dry packs so you won't have all the sloshing water and hopefully it'll bring the temperature down for the whole trunk itself, resulting in a better cooler. I think maybe if I get it taped on the surface, it'll help these seal. If you can see those little felt tabs. So I'm wondering what the locking pressure will be like if I do it, because this material is not very thick at all. I'm thinking if I just put a little layer up on everything like that, that it would stay and really lock it in. And then of course, moving up to the lid too. If I have enough material, I think the lid is more important, but I think that's how it's going to work. It is so hot outside. But there is my masterpiece. And yes, definitely feel free to judge me. This is just an experiment. But that's kind of the point of the experiment was to be kind of jank to begin with. So long as it opens and closes, which I haven't checked yet. Okay, it does close with just a little bit extra effort and it opens just fine. Yeah, no problem. Alrighty, moment of truth. It has been approximately three hours since we shut the casket on this trunk and according to my vehicle it is still 86 degrees outside so yeah it's still quite a bit warm but anyways let's see 68 66 yeah the bottom is definitely pretty cold to the touch not too shabby and the drink is cold, so that's not, not horrible, not the best results, but yeah, not too shabby. I think overall, uh, we're definitely onto something. So I theorize that if your food is extremely well sealed up so that water can't get in, um, loading it up with ice would be a really versatile method. The foil bubble wrap that I used for insulation was only $30 and I still have probably a good four foot by one and a half, two foot section left of that. I think if you were to buy two rolls of that and double down on the insulation of it, yeah, I think it would be a pretty good cooler. We would definitely have to fix the drain plug issue since I totally buried that alive. But I think going straight ice is the best, best method. Is it as good as a Yeti cooler? No. And you probably expected that when you clicked on this video. But if you were to spend 60 bucks on the insulation and tape, I do think that this trunk 
would be better than the budget coolers that you can get at Walmart or any other big box store. That being said, the Yetis are going to be the $200, so they both take ice, they both have drain plugs. I think this would work if you wanted to go that route. Um, or if you just wanted to use your trunk for actual storage, you can do that too. But that wasn't the point of this video, this was an experiment to have fun. But that's going to be a wrap on this video, I hope you guys enjoyed it, and we'll catch you in the next one. Thanks, George.